हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू आर गुड एंड डूइंग वेल वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सेल्स फॉर सन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू यूज स्क्रीन फ्लो अंडर एल डब्ल्यू सी सो यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियो एंड टिल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू सो लेट गर इज स्टार्टेड विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले सो बिफोर दैट दिस इज द न्यू फीचर अंडर विंटर ट्वेंटी थ्री रिलीज सो हेयर यू कैन सी सेल्स फॉर विंटर ट्वेंटी थ्री रिलीज नोट्स सो अंडर दिस नोट्स यू कैन लर्न दिस इज द न्यू फीचर्स लाइक लॉन्च स्क्रीन फ्लोज विद लाइटनिंग वेब कंपोनेंट एंड आई विल शो यू विद प्रैक्टिकल दिस थिंग्स सो यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियो हेयर सो लेट गेट इज स्टार्टेड विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले सो आई जस्ट लॉकड इन इन टू दिस सेल्स फोर्स और सो दिस इज माई सेल्स फोर्स और राइट सो लेट मी क्रिएट ए न्यू फ्लो अंडर हेयर सो फ्लो टाइप शुड बी स्क्रीन फ्लो हेयर सो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस क्रिएट बटन दिस इज द शॉर्टकट अंडर विंटर ट्वेंटी थ्री सो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस फ्लो एंड वंस यू क्लिक ऑन दिस फ्लो सो इट्स ऑटोमेटिक रीडायरेक्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर स्क्रीन सो नाउ यू कैन सी दिस फ्लो बिल्डर स्क्रीन सो यू हैव टू चूज द टेम्पलेट ऑफ द फ्लो सो राइट नाउ आई एम सेलेक्टिंग दिस स्क्रीन फ्लो टेम्पलेट जस्ट सेलेक्ट इट एंड क्लिक ऑन दिस क्रिएट बटन वंस यू क्रिएट इड दिस फ्लो जस्ट यू हैव टू एड your screen under this plus icon so just click on this plus icon click on this screen let me give the label name here let's say screen 1 you can give any name as you want but it should be as meaningful right so for demo purpose i am using this screen 1 okay so and also you can give the description as well no problem so under here i need to display something so if you want to display something in front of the end user so i am using this display text here so just drag and drop here and you can make it any name as you want here and let's say this is screen flow right and this message i want to show under screen flow and using lwc so i will show you this screen flow under lwc how to use that but previously we can use lwc inside the screen flow that is the old story but in the winter 23 release or this is the new feature bi directional so we can use this screen flow inside lwc i will show you so here i just use this text that is called this is a screen flow right so let me give some like bold and increase the size of this text let's say Twenty uh, and make it as a center and uh, color should be red. You can give any color. Don't worry. So right now I'm using this one. Let's say this is a screen flow. Just click on this done button. Now you can see this one. After that you have to click on this save button and now you have to give your flow name. So let's say screen flow with LWC something like that. so just click on the save button now you can see our flow is saved now so let me check this flow is working or not just click on this debug button and after debugging you will be see the output actual output of this flow so just click on this run now you can see the screen with message that is called this is screen flow right so our flow is working fine working now and uh, I need to use this flow inside my LWC component. So let me open my VS Code. So if you don't know about the VS Code or how to create the LWC project and set up all the things, so you can watch my LWC playlist for more updates, right? So just let me open my VS Code. So now you can see this is my VS Code. I already created the uh, project. So in case you can see this, uh, this is the folder structure of the LWC. So let me create. one lwc component so if you are using window so just press control shift p and uh, just select here sfdx colon create and now you can see the second one this one that is called sfdx create lightning web component this one right so for now i'm not using uh, this command control shift p here but in vs code uh, this is the new updated version so under here now you can see the top here right so no need worry about every time you have to press control shift p right in window or in mac like command shift p something like that right so you can use directly just click on the search bar and just click on this one if you need some commands so always use like greater sign and check your command let's say sfdx colon create now you can see same thing here again right so this is the new features in vs code now you can see sfdx create lightning web component let me show you again 
just click on this search bar this is a small search bar if you don't see in your case so you can just right click uh, on this here now you can see here that is called launch command center this is a new feature you can enable it and you can work accordingly so for now I'm using this one now here I'm using sfdx colon create lightning web component so right now I'm giving this uh, component let's say screen and please make sure your naming convention should be like a, as a camel case here like screen flow demo for example or in LWC something like that right so just hit the enter now you can see my component is created now so it's time to use that uh, new feature winter 23 new feature inside this LWC so how to use that very simple so by default this three files automatic created so you have to use only HTML because we need to add that flow inside this you know component so how to add let me show you first of all so let me open uh, that document you can easily understand here so under here now you can see this is the template under this template we have some code lightning hyphen flow means this is a new tab so this is the new tag inside uh, this winter 23 release or before that we cannot see this type of things right for now you can see this one so just let me copy this code here right and paste it into my uh, template like this one and let me change my flow API name so this is the attribute right HTML attribute so you have to change this attribute with your flow screen name here so how can I get this uh, screen flow API name here so just you have to do one thing just go ahead in your flow and just click on this property sign that is called here just click on this one now you can see the flow level and the flow API name so just copy this flow API name and paste it in that particular place that is called flow API name here so just paste it here and just let me save it and once you save it now you have to do one thing just under the XML file and this is the configuration file you know very well right so under here just do one thing you have to change this is exposed as a true if you want to use this component uh, any record page app page home page any kind of like community page or any kind tab or you know utility bar something like that so you can make it this configuration file usually so how to do that under here like LWC then you have to type this target now you can see automatic comes all the script under the targets right so under the targets you can see the target so I can use this uh, component inside my record page app page home page tab record action everything you can see here but for now I'm using only home page app page and record page so based on your requirement you can change it right for now I'm using only three targets here right so once you done these things you have to do one thing just you have to deploy your component first so how to deploy this component if you are using uh, like Salesforce or directly without scratch or so you have to click on this file anywhere and just you can see this one that is called deploy this source to or or do one thing uh, if you are using scratch or so you have to write your sfdx command or you can deploy your component so for now I'm selecting this folder and this is another way to deploy your uh, whole component right click on this one and click on this source deploy source to org so now here you can see successfully deployed here right let me open my org and let's see it's working or not here so just here let me refresh this org first of all and once you refresh it but that feature only work winter 23 release of latest org not uh, like spring 22 or summer 22 something like that old old org you cannot see these features only you can see these features inside winter 23 please keep in your mind so now here just click on this uh, app launcher and search any application as you have let's say I have service application so let me click on this service application click on this service application here and this is the home right so now inside here this is a home let me edit this page click on this edit page here right 
so once you add it now you can see this is a lightning app builder so inside lightning app builder you can do anything as you want because it's a customization things and this is a drag and drop things so you can just drag your component anywhere as you want from this area from here to here right so now you can see my component name so we already created this component that is called screen flow in lwc just you have to drag and drop any places as you want let's say here and once you drag and drop this component just save it and just go back from here and once you go back here now you can see my screen flow inside my lwc right so this is the flow coming from uh, lightning screen flow and uh, we already use this lightning screen flow inside my lwc and uh, lwc right now you can see under home page right home page of the lightning app builder page so this is way and this is the way to use screen flow inside lwc in winter 23 release right so guys i hope you learn something new in this video if you feel like this is a very informative for us so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates like share and comments until then bye bye take care see ya